today we're going to be doing the second category of my declutter. I thought we'd do a change of scenery. I am out in the kitchen. Right now, I'm going to be going through anything face related. So, the first round is blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So, I don't need a lot of them. And I have a face palette that I didn't box yet. So, I'm going to try and use that as another part of it, um, motivation on what to keep and get rid of. So, if you like these kinds of videos, I have, um, I've done a couple of them and I'll have more to do. Um, I like to do a hair and a skin care one and I gotta go through my, my lip products and, um, nail polish again. So, there'll be more of those coming. I recently did two videos where I did, um, decluttered my eye collection. Um, I will list those up, up above in the eye and also down below. Um, so without further ado, like I said, if you like these types of videos, I do lots of them. I'd appreciate it if you give my this video a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And let's get on with the video. Okie dokie. So, the first product I have is a highlighter, and it's from Estate. It's from Estate. I don't remember when I got this, but this sh it's the Do Me uh, Baked Highlight Powder in the shade Lit. So, I've used this a few times. It is... Yeah, it is baked. I had to scrape it with my, um, because I think when I first got this, I don't know if I got a good enough swatch for it, so I had to scrape a little bit, because I remember with the e.l.f., I didn't know if it was similar to the e.l.f. one, where you had to scrape the top of it off before you got, like, color. So that's why there's a little bit of scrapes in there, but this is what this looks like. So... There we go. Very nice champagne color. And I like using this. Um, I'm going to keep this one because I like using this. I got this from Ipsy. I don't remember which bag though, but if I can find it, I'll put it in the eye. Or I'll put it in my description box for you to check out. But this one's keeping. I also will keep tally like I did with the other video on what I keep and get rid of. So, there's that. Uh, keep can be over here. How about that? And then declare can be this side. Alrighty. This is my Ofra highlighter I got from Ipsy. I think it was, it was not it was sometime last year I got it, but it's in the shade, um, Star Island. I use this quite a lot. Not just, like, to highlight my or my cheeks, or up above where the cheekbone is, but I also use it to, um, I've used it to, in the inner corners. I've used this as a nice shadow a few times. And I've used it on the center of my forehead. And even on my chin, which I don't think I'm going to do that anymore because, oh my goodness, I think I looked like a glowing light bulb there. But this is the shade. Nice. Okay, let's see. Where? Hold on, let me do another one. Just to go over. And this is Star Island. It's a bit odd. Um, trying to do light, natural lighting here. But it is pretty. And I really like it. I'd say it's like a champagne too, but it's not as golden as the um, top one. It's not as golden as a state. But I do really like this. I like Ofra's highlighter, so this is one of my favorite brands, and, um, this is, uh, um, obviously, I sell, um, 
I'm gonna keep this one here. I'm gonna keep the um Ofra highlighter. This is a bronzer from Ofra I got in March from Ipsy. And I'm so excited I almost opened it before I showed you the thing. The um shade is an Americano um Um, I don't know if you can tell, but, like, about, like, right here, if you really, like, press on it, it's, like, a dip right here. You can see, like, my little brush marks in here. I use this, like, most of the time when I do videos. Um, pretty happy that I got a dip in here. Like, if you really feel it, you, you can tell there's a dip in there. And I'm pretty happy because I didn't know if I could pan a uh, bronzer. That'd be cool. All right, so this is the color when I swatch it. And it actually looks nice on me. It's not too deep. Um, and I, will, I like it and I'm gonna keep it. But this Ofra bronzer is nice. I like using it. And I will continue to use it, so I'm just going to keep this one too. Um, I just got this in my June of an Ipsy bag. And I'll put the video up above in the eye and down below so you can see that video. But this is like the choice item that I picked because you could choose things. And I chose this one. And it's the Ofra and Talia Mar highlighter. It's in Co Covent Garden. Let me do my swatch so I don't knock my camera over again. It's this shade right here where my hand is beautiful, like pinky. Pinky shade. And I love pink. It's one of my favorite colors. So I can't wait to try this and see what I think of it. Oh, yeah, that's that's new so I'm gonna keep it I'm excited to have it actually I know one thing that I can declutter and it's this um pixie pixie by Petra it says it's the fresh face blush and peach parfait I've used this but I don't particularly care for it it's not the color it's just I don't like the Oh, let me swatch it here. Like, I like the color. It's very pretty pink. But, um, when I put it on my cheeks, I just don't like the texture of it. It feels a little too thick when I put it on, and I don't put a lot of blush on. Um, beautiful shade. But I don't want, I, I just don't like using it. Because, like, I don't like the texture of it. So, I'm just going to declutter this and pass this on to someone who will use it. Um, who will use it. Um, anything I do declutter, I will make sure I disinfect it before. Like, if I've used it, I'll make sure I disinfect it before I give it away to someone else. It just seems um, more reasonable to do. So, this is declutter. This one's old, but I would get this in a uh, bigger size. It is the, uh, got this from Ipsy again. It's the Take Home the Bronze, Anti-Orange Bronzer in Oliver. It's from the Balm. I don't know if I said that or not. I actually really like this bronzer. And I like how it looks on me. It's like the perfect bronzing, bronzer shade for me. Where it's not real orange. It's just a perfect brown color um i think um i'll probably just get a bigger size of this like the actual size not like the sample size but i think this is bad because it says like it's 12 months and i got this like last march and it's now july so i i'll just have to, i'll just get a um the actual big the um big size of it and declutter this um i'm thinking you can recycle this but i'll have to look up on that but 
I'm going to declutter that one here. Obviously, if um, when I mentioned about the disinfecting, if I mean if it is still able to be used, not if it's expired. Of course, if it's expired, I can't let anybody else use it. So, just wanted to let you know that I didn't be specific enough there, but that's decluttered. That was actually tough because I really like that bronzer. I use this um, blush a lot of my videos. Um, got it in an Ipsy bag. If I can remember which video it was, I'll again link it in the eye and I'll mention, I'll put it in the box, the description box so you can check it out. But it is the, I think it's called Kaleido cosmetics it's their skin blush in the shade prima donna that's a cute little bunny rabbit i like that but it has like a nice mirror which is mine's kind of dusty my bad but um this is the shade and i think it's very very pretty i really like this and it's soft very soft and it looks like a very pink, um, pink peach. A pinky peach shade. And I like those kind of colors. I like this. They're my favorite. And I'm going to keep this because I like using this. I use it often, actually. Um, so I'm going to keep that one. Alright, I got this also in, uh... Ipsy, past Ipsy, um, bag, I don't remember which, um, I think if I get anything from Ipsy, I'll just, like, put, like, whatever, if I don't stick it in the eye, then, of course, they'll be in, like, the description box, just to save myself from repeating again, but, I use this. It's the Steve Laurent blush, and hold on, it's in the Shea Rosé all day, sometimes, I don't use it all the time, because I usually forget it's there. And this is the shade here, it's a very beautiful pink shade, um, I might declutter this though, because I don't use it a lot, and it's probably old, it's probably old, so... I'll just have to find another color that looks like this that I'm able to use. But yeah. Lighty. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. It's in the shade Rosewood. Um, my boyfriend bought this for me actually. Um, it's just beautiful. The pan size is really nice. So is the mirror. It's very soft. I've never tried their formula before. But I read it in one of my videos. I don't remember which doll. I do think it kind of looks a little orangey. But I don't think it's too bad. At least not my opinion. I actually want to use this bronzer more. So I'm going to keep it. So this is a keep. I gotta fix this better hold on. This is the Morphe highlighter and spark. I was happy when I first got this. Also an Ipsy. But excuse my nails. I know they're not the best. But this is beautiful champagne color. Hold on. Focus. Right here. Um, it's pretty and all, but I don't know. I just don't enjoy this one. I'm going to give it away. Someone who will use it, so. I actually thought I saw Samantha March use this, um, a long time ago. I don't know if I'm correct or not, but I'm, I'm thinking it might have been her. And she liked this, so I was real happy I got that. And my Ipsy bag, and... Well, I don't like it, so. I mean, at first I thought it was cool. Then I got the Ofra highlighter and I was like, no one beats the Ofra yet. So, 
Mm. I don't know. I don't really like it. That's going over there. And I got another. I got the Wet n Wild Color Eye Climb Blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. Yeah, it is pretty and all. I think that's supposed to be like a dupe for the NARS Orgasm, which I kind of would rather try. I don't know, is that a good knuckle swatch? Oh, let me do another one. Let me go over it again. I don't know if you can tell with that pink shade here. Can you guys see it well? Trying to get my camera to focus. Oh, there we go. This pink here. It's very pretty. I don't use it a lot, however, and if I want a pink one, I want to find something else I want to try. I do want to try NARS blushes um, in particular. There's another one I'd like to try. Um, actually, the Fenty blushes. She had cream ones, and I want to try one of those. Um... There's a few I have in my mind that I'd like to try, so. I don't really need this pink. I don't use it a lot. And I don't want to try other ones, so. I'm just going to give this away so someone else can use it. Um. Um. This is. What? This is the Hourglass. Um. Highlighter. It's a cream highlighter stick. Their champagne, it's their Vanish uh, Flash Highlighter, I believe, in the shade Champagne. I wanted to also, I want to also find the pink one, but they didn't have it. It was sold out, so this was the other color I wanted. Ah, no! My god, it fell right. Oh god, I gotta fix that and clean it up. This is a keep, obviously, but I just wanted to show you. That really scared the shit out of me. This is the sh um, shade here. Very pretty. I can't wait to use it. I love this. It's pretty. I have to fix that because that's really scared me there. I was like, no. So that's a keep. Um, this is. Let me see. I gotta read it here. Mally in a Mally Minute Shimmer Brightener. It's in the shade lighter. One is a shimmer brightener, one's a matte one. They're both in the same shades. Lighter. Let me go and do a swatch. They're like crayons. Crayon sizes here. I got these for Christmas. I never tried them yet, but um these are the these are what they look like. I'm gonna keep them so I can try them. I didn't try them yet. Um, and this is new. And it's the. Um, I'm so excited! I didn't open it. Um, hourglass ambient. Um, ambient lighting blush. And got it out of Boxycharm. And packaging is very pretty. Hi. Let me do it like this. You won't see me. The packaging is very pretty. And the, sh the shades in diffused heat. And let's open it and pray to God nothing else crazy happens. Hold on. Comes with a nice mirror. This is what the shade looks like. In the pan. And you swirl it around. I think they have different shades and I wouldn't mind trying. I think this was one of the um, blushes. When I said there were other blushes, I want to try other blushes. Um, I'd like to try more shades from this blush too. But it's this shade right here where I'm pointing with my finger here. A uh, beautiful white pinky shade. And I'm excited to try that on my cheeks. I haven't yet. I'm excited too, but I seen they have nice pretty shades and I'd like to try those out someday. Um, this pack? I think this is recyclable, so I'll have to figure that out. On my own time, but there's a box put over there. And this is the Pacifica Bronzer 
and blush duo coin ipc um i'm gonna keep this because i really like it and it has a mirror on the back but i think it's very nice for travel size too if you like to go travel a lot or if you're at work or whatever or school whichever um this is the blush shade and this is the bronzer shade and i've used this a few times and i like using it i enjoy using it and i continue to use it and i think it's very nice um uh little blush and bronzer palette it's very pretty so i know i didn't get rid of many okay i know that i haven't gotten rid of a lot but there's some that's new that i haven't tried that i want to try and the ones that aren't new i do enjoy using so i know that's not the best but at least i got rid of a few things now, next section will be foundation, concealer, face primers, and I have quite my few collection of that, so I'll bring that out, and then I think that might be all of my face makeup. I'm not going to do brows because I don't have many brow products, so... I find that would be completely useless of doing when I don't have that many, so stay tight.